Hey there, it's Courtney with RCK Livestock, where we document our journey to self-sustainability through our garden and our livestock. Today I'm going to be starting some seeds indoors under a grow light, and we're going to get the grow light set up, and we're going to get some seeds planted. The seeds that I'm going to get started with today are all of my peppers. If you watched my seed haul video, you already know what peppers I got, but if you didn't, Go ahead and take a look at that and we can go through those and why I picked them out. Um, but real quick, I'll just go through them. I have three different type of bell peppers. We have the California Wonder, their Purple Beauty, and then the Etayuda pepper. We have the Natapeno pepper, Anaheim pepper. Those are all the peppers we're gonna get started. And then I'm gonna get some flower started as well. So we're gonna get a few of the calendulas started. So let's get going. So we're going to get my seed starts started and they're just gonna be right here in my living room. It's the most space that I have in our house and it gives me the most room to spread out if um, we need to add more tables or things like that. The first thing I'm gonna do, since I do have wood floors, we're going to lay some plastic down so then if I spill some water when I'm watering the plants, I don't have to worry about ruining the wood floors. curious if you're curious about the plastic that I'm laying down it's a uh, plastic sheeting that's a heavy-duty one and a half millimeter thick this is just something that I got from my dad he just we always have random stuff so this is something I guess he had laying around he wanted me to have it so this is what I got we've just got a simple folding table the setup that I've got with the fact that some of the things that I have are from a commercial greenhouse operation. That's one of the things that my family does. They have a indoor greenhouse. So um, I was able to get these next items from them. Um, it wasn't any money that I paid, but it was just things that they had laying around they're not using at the moment. So um, my family was nice enough to let me use them. I will link this stuff, but it's probably going to be a little bit more excessive than what a personal indoor starting setup is going to be. So I'll link what I do have, and then I'll link some more feasible items for a personal indoor starting setup. The next thing I have is going to be a light stand rack. This is how it's supposed to turn out. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but it's the brand, uh, the brand is Vivosun. I will link it below and we'll put it together.
unfolded, which is super cool. These little tassels here are meant to hold the light. And then right here is for the light adjustment. So we can go super low, almost touching, and then up higher. And then if you need it even higher than that, you loosen these, pull that, and you can get the light even higher. So there's a lot of adjustment going on with this. Super cool concept. I will link this down in the description for you guys. So the next thing is one thing that I kind of felt a little awkward sharing. I was doing some research on what I was dealing with just because it was a light that was given to me to borrow for letting me start my seeds indoors. Um, and then I looked at the price of it and it made me feel a little awkward because my goal is to be doing things that are attainable for other people to be able to give ideas and um, you know, be relatable. However, this light that I have ended up when I was looking is a $1,400 light. So obviously that's completely unreasonable to even recommend that someone get it. Like I said, we, um, my family has a commercial greenhouse operation. So this is just part of their business and they let me use it. And I'm super, super thankful for what I'm able to use. And like I said, I'm going to link this or something similar. I think it said it was discontinued, but I will link something similar to it. And then I'll also link some more reasonable lights for you guys. So this is the big guy. This is it. It is an American Green brand Truth LED light. It is a massive light. So we're gonna see how the stand holds up to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it face down onto the table. We're gonna move the cord back. And these are super cool. They're little, it's a little pulley that can cinch up or down your light so you can adjust the height, uh, which is important when you get plants that are, you know, getting leggy. Um, you can shorten your light. You could raise the light as the plants get taller. Um, so this is just a super easy way to make that happen. So I will link these down below for you. So we have these on the carabiner. We will, I'm just going to hook these on the string. started with is the California Wonder bell peppers. How we have the garden set up this year is to have 16 bell peppers, pepper plants. According to Baker Creek Seeds, they have an 80% germination rate. So I'm going to overplant by 20%, that being 21 bell peppers about. For each bell pepper variety, I'm going to plant seven plants of each variety. So first, um, let's see. The seed packet says that the seed depth needs to be a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to make just a small little divot in the pre-moistened soil. And 
and this is a 6x12 plug pack that, like I said, I've already pre-moistened. And it's the plug pack with a tray on the bottom for watering. Okay, so I have the 21 spots. Like I said, we're gonna start with the California Wonder. We're planting seven of those. We're just gonna pop those in one. Seven. And according to the back of the packet on all of the pepper plants, it says to start indoors eight to 12 weeks before the last frost. Where I'm located, our last frost is May 5th, and we're about 10 weeks out on our last frost date. Uh, let's see. So we have seven of the California Wonder pepper plants planted. We're going to label because I am definitely someone that has to label everything. So we're gonna put California Wonder and today is February 20th. I'm gonna put California Wonder on one side and then on the back of it, I'm just gonna put 2-20 so I know what date we have it. We're gonna put this in the top left corner and I will just know that that column down is a California Wonder and our next label will be after. So this is my last California Wonder. Our next label is going to be right here on the back side, which is going to be the Purple Beauty. And we're going to cut this up, open. I'm excited that peppers take so long to get going because I was getting a little garden planting bug going on. I was ready to get something going. Okay, so we are planting seven of the purple beauties. Put the rest back until next year and write my label. And this one is going to go on the back of our first Purple Beauty. We're going to cover up all of our little guys. And this tray was brand new, but if you make sure that when you do reuse trays uh, from previous years and seasons, that you are cleaning them. The uh, soil and the plastics can harbor bacteria and cause disease in your plants. And no one wants that. The next bell pepper I have is the Etiuda bell pepper. Same song and dance. We are going to plant seven of those. repot these into bigger pots as they get larger, but this is just what I'm starting with. Alright, next set of peppers we're doing is 
the not a peño pepper. This one is also down one quarter of an inch. We're doing four of these guys. those covered up. Okay, and our last pepper we're doing is the Anaheim pepper. And we'll be doing three of these guys. Oh, I forgot to mention that with the Nata Peño, I am only doing three. I only have uh, plants for three plants in my garden, so that's why we're just doing that extra plant that accounts for the uh, 20% that might not germinate. And the Anaheims, we're only doing two of those plants in the garden, so we're going to do three. but she can help me with some flowers. Uh, that's why I did that. That's why I did that. That's why you did that? Because yeah. you wanted to help plant flowers and not peppers? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I like flowers. We're going to cover those up. Now which one are we going to do? Right there is the next one. How many calendulas should we plant? Uh, maybe one. In oh, there. too far. Here, I'll show you. You just gotta do just a little bit. Just like that. Oh. Here, let's, you only want one? I think we should do one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Let's do fourteen, okay? Do you want me to poke the holes and you put them in? Just put one in each one. We don't want any flowers in there. Just wait, no, not that one yet. Here, let me poke all the holes. You can bury them and then put them in there. Good idea. Good idea. Okay, so we're going all of those and all of those, okay? While Miss Cameron is putting the seeds in, I'm going to make the, don't spill them. I'm going to make the label for the calendula. There we go. Write the date on the back. We need to write a date. We write the date so we know what day we planted them. Okay, put those, that one right there. And do that whole line. It's okay, I'll get it covered up. I'm going to bury with you. And, <coughs> and the calendula for planting instruction says sow in place in the fall or spring or start the seeds indoors and grow for several re weeks setting out after last frost. So obviously we didn't get these put out in the fall time, so we're gonna go ahead and get these started. And then I'll probably start some more, um, depending on how these do, I'll probably start some more um, with maybe the tomatoes that we get started. Oh, how cute. Then these will kind of just go throughout the yard and, and throughout the garden. Yeah, baby seeds go. The big seeds. Mm -hmm. Did you know uh, when marigolds are dead, you can plant more seeds? 
Really? Yeah, we should get those. Wait. Should we get some marigolds? Wait, we already have them. We have them? Yeah. I think so. You think so? Okay, two more. One right there. Oh, you already got that one in there. One right there. Okay, last one right there. Good job. Do you have any more? Yep. Okay, let's put those back in there. There we go. Do you want me to cover it up? Yeah. Okay. Can I help you? Okay, just kind of cover it up. <laughs> where it ended since we're not planting anything else today. <coughs> Just this one? Yep. Aww. I know, we're all done for today. For a couple more weeks. I wish I wanted to do more planting. And this is what we've got planted. We've got seven California Wonder, seven Purple Beauty, seven Etiuda, four Natapeno, three Anaheim, and we've got 14 Calendula started. These pods are all empty, so we'll use those later for when we do some tomatoes or other flowers that we decide to plant. So let's get this under the grow light. I've got our tray full of the seeds. I'm gonna go ahead, I took the top from that bottom tray and we're gonna go ahead and put it on the table. I already have a tray that is full of water. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna slide this under the light. So we have to get the light on to let it grow. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? So as far as the specifications go of this grow light, um, according to the manual, it says to only have the light three to six inches above it. And so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do one at a time. That one. Whoa. Whoa. So we have the grow light going. Um, we'll keep you updated on how they germinate and we need the sunlight to grow them, and dirt helps them grow. That way they can go big and strong. Yep, the dirt helps them grow. Does water help them grow? Yeah. Water helps them grow, and light helps them grow. If you're interested in following our journey or like to get ideas, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell, like this video, and let us know what you think. Thanks, guys.